Are we then alone if we must return to half light? Hello, my baby biscuits, and welcome to a very special episode of the Dragon Sail Puppets Variety Show. You remember those very special episodes of 70s comedy shows where they tried to get all serious and make you feel more for the characters than you really wanted to? Well, that's where we're headed here. Uh, do come with us on a seafaring voyage into the unknown, the mysterious, the ever fascinating. And remember, this was not my idea. Look, y'all don't know what I go through, all right? Catatonia was a tenured professor, or a ward of the state, I didn't get all the details. And the hussy has been grating me like a block of cheese since the cursed day she first darkened my stoop about how we need to educate as well as entertain. So I had to finally give her this for my own sanity. Trust me, you can endure for 20 minutes what I have had to endure 24-7 for several wretched years. So sit back and relax into the journey. I know you're going to love all this great art. <laughs> Let it first be understood that I claim no discoveries. <laughs> it is the maddest of all who go to see. What could we hope to discover and transmit to the landbound? Perhaps news of the terra incognita, the ghost continent we each and every one bear within ourselves. Who would trust our reports of the strange shapes interior to the ice flows? Fringe events shrouded in mist and magic, what demon would whisper to us of the truth beyond the filmy screen and distortions of memory? <laughs> what? was whispered to Odysseus long ago.
set us free. The haunted waters, they laugh the same of the Mediterranean. The ghost is sinking below. There's even less for us to know. the island of the Lotus Eaters above all. And above all, beware of submitting to their fate of merely drifting upon the teeming seas. <laughs> the flowers and fruits of the Lotus Tree are a narcotic, producing a peaceful apathy which robs one of one's memories of home. <laughs> like Odysseus, we seek our spiritual home but are denied a permanent residence therein. The temptation of the siren call is all the more irresistible as a result of our barrenness. Our shape-shifting immortal monsters can only destroy us ultimately, but who has called them forth, if not ourselves? Will insight into our own homesick natures be enough to guide us through our haunted waters? Imagine the world beyond your view. 
Imagine being served in a way Imagine it's all coming true Imagine it a row, row, row Don't regret your dead mind But you grow wise So the vision's prepared How will it end after all? Imagine it a row, 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 Skullbone to Mayan ruins, we survey the debris of time. But will these imposing fragments, decaying gateways, and recessed galleys be instructive? Will shipwreck, profoundest solitude, and the narrow escape of monsters and bewitching goddesses produce within us the wind chart within the heart that was Odysseus's birthright? The cool words of Circe, the mystical sorceress, to Odysseus haunt us still. There is a mind in you no magic will work upon. On one hand, such sobriety can make us the impervious masters of our fates, the designers of our own passages of escape from the malevolent tricksters that wouldst beset us on our voyages, or it may lay us dry and bare upon a shore as desolate and laced with the bones of the dead as that which Odysseus himself barely escaped in skirting the Isle of the Sirens. <laughs> Have we missed the destination in our avoidance of this complicated life's myriad intoxications? <laughs>
the stars And so We only halfway know what we are It's more inside my mind I try to map it out To see who I'll find Behind the blind It's by my design To, to live life In half life I don't simply dream I'm an animal that plans My journey's long I'm sure Distance. Oh.